Hey family, it's your girl Yo-Yo from Dynamic Designs by Yo-Yo. And today we're going to be making this sweatshirt. Yes, the Viral Mama sweatshirt with the names on the sleeves. The children's names on the sleeves. I hope you guys can see that. And I'm also going to show you how to use this, how, yeah, how to make this um, with the puff vinyl. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, family. So we are at Cricut Design Space and this heart image I got from Cricut Design Space. So I just went to images, clicked on images, typed in hearts, as you can see here. And then I just scrolled down until I found the heart that I was looking for. Okay, this is the image that I found, and then I just hit, uh, I clicked on it and hit add to canvas. Okay, so that's what I did. <clears throat> so now that we're here at the canvas, what I am going to do is I'm going to change the names of that are on this that came with this image. Okay, and to do that, all you have to do is click on. So if you go to the right hand side under group, you just click on the name that you want to change. OK, so I want to change these names to my children's names. So I'm going to change. OK, so what I'm going to do is double click on the name. OK. And change it and just type. And then I'm just going to delete the part of the name that was there that I don't want. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to click right outside of the box where the name is. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Change the name. And then for the last one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight this one though. Okay. Highlight it and then type my son's name. Okay, now I really don't like this font. I'm not too, I'm not a fan of this one, but I do really like this one. So what I'm gonna do is just click on this font and it's called Malaysian Circle. M-I-L-A, oh, hold on. Mm. All right, cause I'm old. So <laughs> I believe it's M-I-L-A. S I A N I, circle. That's the name of the of the uh, font. So I am going to change these two to that same font because I like that. And so let me. Um, so I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to change it to that. I'm going to search for that particular font. And let me see if it's going to pull up. Yep. So I just typed in M-I-L-A and it popped right on up. So it's M-I-L-A-S-I-A-N, Malaysian Circle. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, the it changes the, the uh, font. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And I'm going to change the font. Now these, this is... Uh, let me see what size is Christine's name. Christine's name is 6.3 by 1.43. So I want all of the height for them to be the same, I think. So this one is the same, but and this one is the same too. But I am going to stretch this one out just a little bit more. Just so that it is at least between the cutouts in the heart you see malcolm's name is in the cutout uh christine's is right at the cutout so i'm going to make um this last name the same as that one okay so just the same as malcolm i'm going to pull it out so that it is at least between the two hearts and it's going to end up being bigger but i'm okay with that okay so it's, it's just all about whatever floats your boat okay and I'm going to take it down just a little bit. 
So I'm just going to get it to the size I want, okay? And once I've gotten it to the size I want, then we're just going to move on. Let me move it down. Let me take it down just a little bit. Let me take it down. Take it down, 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 down. Take it down, 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 down. Okay. Y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't come up here to hear me sing. <laughs> I'm not. I think we working with Greece. Um, you see, I'm really just trying to get it out. Okay. And you know what? Let me see. Let me see. Christine is that name is six point three. Let me let me see if I can do the same. See if I can change it to the same. Six point three. Okay. I'm being a little too extra with this one. But you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna just leave it like that. Um no I'm not. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I got it the way I want it. Okay. So I got it the way I want it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the color of the heart. Okay. I'm going to change the heart to white because I'm going to put this on a, I think a gray sweatshirt, but don't quote me on it because I am not confident that that's the color I'm going to use. So, but for the time being, this is what we're working with. And then I'm, it's already grouped. So I'm going to just hide that and I'm going to move on to the next word. Okay. So let's go, we're going to hit, um, let's go back. Cause I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So I'm going to click on text and we're going to I'll type the word mama. Okay, and I want all caps, but that's not the font that I want. Okay, so I'm gonna look for. I want a font that looks like uh, the college font, so yeah, sort of like college letters. So let's type in college and see what we come up with. Nothing. Okay, so that's not it. Let's look for sports. Let's do that. Look for sport font, okay? And it's a font that I've used before. I never remember name the name of it, but so it's we're gonna use extreme fonts. Click on that one, and yep, that's exactly what I want, okay? Now <clears throat> with this font, let me see. There's a hidden font behind it. Let's. Let's look at that. That's exactly what I want, okay? Because I want to, um, I'm going to do use two type of materials. I'm going to use for the, for the, uh, the top, for the blue, for the top, for the blue, I'm going to use, let me change that to white as well. I'm going to change that to white. I'm going to be using puff vinyl. So for the white, it's going to be white puff vinyl. And for the bottom, I'm going to change that to a pink color because I'm going to be using a pink glitter as the outline. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be using for my shirt. I'm going to change the height and the width okay because i want and i'm going to curve it just a little bit so let's curve this and see what it looks like just a little bit we're going to curve it to i want to curve it a lot okay 25 i think that's enough so we're going to curve it to 25 okay on the curve bar and then i want to make it the width, I don't want it too long. So let's change the width to nine. 
and then we're going to change let's change the height so i'm going to open this lock um proportions button and i'm going to change it to three and see what that looks like okay okay i'm liking that so this is the size that we're going to use nine inches by three inches okay and so now i want to type under here i want to i want to add some other text and i want to add established because when was my first baby born oh then i'll be putting y'all all in my business well it don't matter my baby was born my oldest son was born in um 19 90 that's what it was okay so we're gonna so we're gonna put established i'm not gonna type out the whole word and we're gonna put 1990 1990 because that's when my baby was born okay and i don't want that remember that i'm using the same text but i don't want the um i don't want that highlighted part so we're not going to use that and so but these these letters are a little too far apart for my taste okay so letters and numbers are too far apart so it looks like the letter space says that they are 1.2 inches apart and i that's too far apart for me so i want to bring this down a little bit let's see if we can bring it down to one inch apart mm, not feeling that either so let's bring it down a little bit more Okay, that's good. But I don't like I'm gonna uncroup this because I don't like where this where the where the uh, period is and I want to move this um the date over just a little further. So what I'm gonna do is ungroup and I am going to click on I'm gonna group the numbers together, okay. So I'm going to group just the numbers together. Hit group. And then I'm going to move this over. Okay. And then I'm going to move this period closer to the T. Okay. Okay. I'm going to also move this S because I think it's too far over to. So there's closer to being in the middle all right so this is i like the way this looks i am going to group it back again okay and now i am going to make it a little smaller because i don't want it um i don't want it um the same size as this font here okay and i'm gonna make it one inch in height Oh, that's too big okay that's too big so let's bring it down let's go back let's go back okay and we're going to leave it at that let me unlock the lock proportions and then again change it to one inch in height and that's a i don't like that that's still too long so i am going to play around with it to get the exact measurement that i want and i'm going to come back and let you know what i would let you guys know uh family what i decide okay so stay tuned okay family so i decided to leave the smaller print established 1990 at 3.5 five six inches by one inch so i'm going to leave that as is but i'm going to change the color to pink okay i'm going to change that to pink and i'm not sure if i'm going to do that i think yeah i'm going to do it in pink glitter i'm going to do the pink that is in the background of mama i'm going to do that in pink glitter as well but you know what i don't i'm not sure if i want to 
See, that's not what I really want. What I really want to do is do an offset because I just, I don't think I want the, um, I don't want to sit the, the white puff vinyl on top and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to ungroup this and I'm going to show you, I don't want, let me ungroup it. I'm sorry. I don't want the. I don't want this, see, I don't want this white to sit on top of the vinyl, okay? Let me go back. So I think what I'm going to do is, let me move this, at the established 1990 out of the way, and I'm going to do a slice. Okay, so I'm going to slice this, and I am going to move this out of the way. I'm going to remove the mama that you can actually see i'm going to delete that okay and i'm going to sit this in its place okay because when i do the glitter i want the puff to sit inside okay so let's make sure that's in right let's make sure that it is arranged properly so i mean i'm sorry aligned properly so i'm gonna um center it to make sure it's perfect and then i'm going to group it again okay i am going to group that and this is what i want because when i print out my my glitter i want the letters to sit inside of the puff okay i'm mean, going to sit inside of the glitter i want the puff to sit inside of the glitter okay so what i'm going to do at this point family is i am going to highlight my entire image I'm going to go to a line and I want to center horizontally because I want to make sure that established 1990 is um, centered right under mama. And so then I am going to again, highlight it and group it all together. So that's what I want. I have what I'm going to put on the front of the shirt, mama established 1990. Let's go back and find our heart with our baby's names on it okay and so what i am going to do i'm not sure oh no what my heart why is my heart looking like this it's all discombobulated Ooh, what in the world okay i don't know why that happened um but let's see if we can fix it okay yeah i'm not sure why that happened but we're just going to move the names back in place. Okay. And, but you know, sometimes Cricut Design Space can work your last nerve. Okay. It will really work your last nerve. So I'm going to hide this mama. Okay. And I am going to change the size of this to, um, 5.5 okay because i think it's going to be a little bit too big for our sleeve um so yeah let me change this to 5.5 and i'm going to let me see what it looks like when i just change it to five first because i don't want to distort my my image all right let me unlock the lock proportions and i'm going to do I'm going to do five inches by five inches and see what that looks like. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad, not bad at all. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, lock, hit my lock proportions button. And then, so, okay. So I am going to leave it like that. No, I'm not. I want to change. I want to make uh, Malcolm's name a little bit taller. So I'm going to unlock this lock proportions button and i'm gonna fix his name just to make it a little bigger i'm so sorry that ring is going off i don't know why um let me make sure that these are all the same size because it looks like they got distorted a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so that looks about right. And so I am going to, so let me, let me do this first. Let me change the colors. So I want the heart to be, let's make that pink, okay? I want the heart to be the color pink. So I'm just going to click on the heart. And I'm going to change that to pink. And I believe I'm going to leave the names. No, I'm going to make the names white. I'm not going to use puff vinyl, but I am going to make them white. Okay. I'm going to just use some, I may use some glitter vinyl to do that. Some white glitter vinyl. So I'm just going to change the names to white. All right. So I like that. Now I'm going to highlight the entire thing and I am going to group it. Okay. So now what I am going to do, I have my image, both of my images, the size I want. I am going to hit make it. Okay. And we are going to, we could, I'm going to do this on a mat. I prefer to do it on a mat. And so here are the, here are the names. Here are, here's my heart. And, oh. You know what? Let's go back. Let's cancel this and go back because I think I forgot to unhighlight the mama, my other image. Okay, so now let's hit make it. Okay, got our names. We got mama. We got the names. Um, we got the heart. Now. As you can see, and I've said this before, and I did this, this for a reason. As you can see, established 1990 is not together. That's not what we want. So we're going to hit cancel, okay? And to make sure that this, that this established 1990, I'm so sorry that ring keeps going off. Let me turn this, this thing off. It's raining outside, so that, that thing will go off 50 times. Okay, so we are at Mama. And we want established 1990 to, to all cut together, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this. We're going to highlight this, established 1990, and we're going to hit attach, okay? Then we're going to highlight the entire thing again and hit group, okay? And then, this is fine, I don't... Um, but what I'm going to do for the letter, just so the letters will all, um, so I don't have such a hard time getting the letters off of um, the canvas, I mean, off of my, um, Lord child, I can't talk right now, so that I don't have a hard time taking them off of the mat, I am going to um, make sure that they are that they will cut properly so let me hide the heart and i'm going to just click on the name and i'm going to hit um attach for the names for each name okay just so i don't have a hard time cutting those okay and then or well, taking them up off the mat when it's time and then i'm going to find my heart and then I'm going to highlight the entire thing again, and I'm going to hit group. And then now I'm just going to hit make it. Now, remember I said mama is going to be puff vinyl, okay? Um, the names, I don't think I'm going to do in puff vinyl, okay? I'm going to try, but if that doesn't work out, I'll just go ahead and cut them out with regular vinyl. But Excuse me, we're going to see what happens. And so here's the pink. And now you can see that the word, uh, the established 1990 is all in one piece. And so that's going to make it easier when it's time to place it on my garment. Okay. So now that I, oh, now the, the so let me go back to the first. Remember, we are using heat. We are using glitter, HTV, uh, um, white HTV possibly, and glitter HTV. So make sure to mirror 
baby, make sure to mirror, okay, your images because I've made this mistake too many times and yeah, we don't want that. So we want to make sure that it prints out properly. So folks, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut all of this, this out. And then we're going to come back and press it onto our garment. So please don't go nowhere, y'all. Don't leave the family. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first part that you're looking at is the mama. And I pressed that at 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Okay, so this is how it looks with the puff vinyl. Make sure that you press the glitter vinyl first. But I pressed the puff at 280 degrees for 10 seconds and baby y'all see that y'all see that that puff is puffing okay it is puffing <laughs> and i oh it looks so good i am so pleased at how this turned out okay so now you guys are going to be looking at the sleeve and again 320 at 15 seconds for the sleeve and i did decide to use the puff vinyl for the names and y'all see how that thing turned out look at that baby that thing looks so good. I am so, oh, I love it. Yes, I love it. So definitely try this. Um, and I'm just so pleased at the way it turned out. So if you like these kinds of videos, please like my channel, subscribe, and share it with your friends. So this is the final product. Thank you for stopping by. And until the next video, I want y'all to continue to be blessed, family.